Hello and welcome to the Analyst Corner offered to you by One One Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research, and the topic of discussion is blockchain versus database. Many people out there still consider blockchain as just another database. Also, you will find people comparing blockchain versus distributed database. Or is blockchain simply a distributed database? Let's try and answer these questions. To begin with, blockchain is best defined as decentralized distributed ledger technology. A set of peer nodes work together to create a distributed decentralized network. The peer nodes communicate and share data with the help of the consensus algorithms. Also, there is no centralized authority and that makes the whole network trustworthy when compared to other networks. Explain roughly, when one node sends information to another, a transaction is generated. When this happens, the transaction is validated through a consensus algorithm. The consensus algorithm ensures that no invalid transactions are executed. A transaction is invalid, for instance, when the receiving node is not existing or the sending node is trying to spend twice the same data with different peers. Valid data is then passed to blockchain, which is all about blocks that store the transactions and other important information that is required to successfully operate blockchain. Timestamps are created to ensure that each transaction can be traced back and verified. The whole system adds value and brings in features such as transparency, immutability, and security. And what is a database? A database, first of all, is a centralized ledger run by an administrator. Only the parties with proper access can write and read the database. A database also stores multiple copies of the same data under the control of a trusted centralized authority that manages the server. Centralization brings benefits and drawbacks. Managing a database is easy from a central position and accessing and storing data is not only easy but also fast. One of the biggest drawbacks is the chance of data being corrupted. To overcome this disadvantage, multiple backups are taken. But that's not always the case, as most of the entities tend to trust their own database and skip the data backup option. Another significant drawback of a centralized database is the possibility that a hacker takes con control of the central authority and modifies the database. A centralized database represents a single point of failure. Let's now delve into analyzing the difference blockchain versus database. Blockchain is designed to work in a decentralized manner, whereas a database is always centralized. Centralized control is not necessarily a bad thing, especially for enterprises that must exchange private data and processes. That's why blockchain evolved into hybrid or federated models that accommodate the need of private organizations. A database is based on a client-server architecture that allows both small and large-scale environments. The server acts as a centralized processing unit and the communication between client and server is maintained through a secure connection. Blockchain, on the other hand, uses a distributed ledger network architecture. It's a peer-to-peer -peer enabled network where each peer can connect with any other using secure cryptographic protocols. And there is no centralized node to validate the data exchanged. Peer nodes collectively take part in the consensus mechanism. The database, doesn't require a consensus algorithm and is completely dependent on the centralized server. In a traditional database, data can be created, read, updated, and deleted. This means that data can be erased and replaced with new values if needed. Blockchain only supports two operations, read and write. Once data is written in a block, it cannot be erased or replaced. Blockchain is append only, so if data was erroneously written in a block, it cannot be erased, but the correct data will be written in a new block to resolve the mistake. In blockchain, data integrity is maintained at any cost. When it comes to implementation costs, <clears throat> a traditional database is less costly when compared to blockchain. Traditional databases are easy to set up and scale. They are the foundation of all current enterprise information management systems and hence out-of-the-box applications are easy to find. This makes it an excellent choice for enterprises that want to quickly and cost-effectively set up their information management systems. Blockchain is fairly a new, fairly a new technology.
which means that there is a limited amount of talent available. The cost of blockchain talent is also high, which can increase the cost associated with the implementation and maintenance of a blockchain project. Blockchain is considerably slower when compared to a database. To execute a transaction, blockchain executes all the activities of a traditional database, plus signature verification. Blockchain transactions are signed using cryptographic algorithms, consensus algorithms to validate transactions. Also redundancy, each transaction information is stored and verified by each node. Now that we have understood some crucial difference between blockchain and database, it is now time to decide the best users cases for both. Well, databases are undoubtedly user-friendly and are already supported by many popular management systems for developers and administrators. Even websites with millions of visitors rely on databases. Blockchain is not ideal to store a huge amount of data that needs to be regularly used. The best use cases for a database includes the following. Apps or systems that utilize a continuous flow of data. Storing confidential information. Online transaction processes that needs to be fast. Apps or systems where data verification is not needed. Coming to blockchain possible use cases, business to business transactions can benefit immensely. This includes supply chain, inventory management, and distribution. The key feature is collaboration and transparency. Enterprises can follow every single movement of physical goods without introducing more complexity. Unfortunately, blockchain doesn't scale that much and can slow down systems when handling large-scale data records. Another use case for blockchain are voting systems that benefit from a decentralized approach that brings trust and transparency to the whole voting system. Blockchain is also ideal for automating tasks via the execution of smart contracts. The best use cases for blockchain include the following, transferring value, storing value, monetary transactions, trusted data verification, voting systems, and decentralized applications. In conclusion, blockchain introduces a performance penalty because of its verification method. This clearly means that you should avoid blockchain where fast execution time is an essential factor. Databases are a great choice when the critical business process needs to be supported or scaled at the same time. The read and write process is also more, not simple when it comes to blockchain. This makes the database more desirable for general purpose application. In short, choose blockchain if you are looking for trust, transparency, and verification. Database, on the other hand, is ideal for high performance apps or service. It is also an excellent choice for apps that require scalability. This concludes the Analyst Corner presentation offered to you by 1-1 Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research.